When the 2023 NFL draft rolled around, Peter Skaronsky was invited to Kansas City as he was a sure first round pick. Peter was certain to join his legendary grandfather, former Packer Bob Skaronsky, as an NFL offensive lineman. So why not celebrate at the draft? Peter said, no thank you. Instead, he and his family hosted a large party at Peace Pizza and Brewery in Chicago. Because you knew Peter was going to be drafted in the upper half of the first round. So was it a hard decision to not go to Kansas City and be involved in all of that? We were surprised and frankly jealous. Pizza in Chicago sounded great to us, but we were even more intrigued when we found out it was New Haven style pizza in Chicago. So we hit the road to experience Peace Pizza on our own, and we had Peter's parents, Bob and Ann Skaronsky, as our hosts for this week's Epic Western Spotlight. All right, so here we are. Yeah, yes. We're at Peace Pizzeria in Chicago. Yes. Why was this the perfect place? Peace opened in 2001. Peter was born in July. I think it opened in May or June. We had his christening gathering here. It's always been part of our family and a little bit of family um, history in terms of it being New Haven style pizza and Bob's dad being from New Haven and just a, fa you know, obviously Skaransky's love pizza too. <laughs> <laughs> and love light. food generally. And like beer. And Don't beer. Don't forget that. Yeah. We're good with that yeah. too. What's your best memory of the night, Bob? There's a, there was a couple of teams that we really were hoping that, that he didn't go in that direction. And when they both went by him, his head coach, Pat Fitzgerald, <laughs> looked at me and said, you just won the draft. <laughs> Peter had such strong um, pre-draft um, interaction with uh, Rand Carthen and Mike Vrabel that um, he, uh, he really was he was really hoping that that was what was going to happen. And I would say for me, really, maybe the obvious point is when he turned around, he was on the phone and he turned around and the look on his face when he said Tennessee. I mean, he was just so genuinely happy. And what came flooding back to me was just the memory of talking to Peter after the combine. And really, the entire conversation was dominated by meeting uh, Coach Rabel and Rand and just the whole um, connection he felt with the team at that point. I thought that was that was really the first thing I thought of. Bob, when did you start to think Peter could be a good enough football player that he could follow your dad into the NFL? I would say uh, his sophomore year, um, he before they played Michigan, he was sick as a dog. That Saturday, the opposition was Aiden Hutchinson and um, David Ajabo. So I felt like um, after that game that his game was good enough to go to the next level. That would be a tipping point for me in terms of his future, that, that particular game. I was so, so thrilled for him to have an opportunity to play in college, to do something that he loved and mm -hmm. really um, embrace the whole team and um, you know, playing in a D1 situation in the Big Ten, amazing. Now, I will say that my dad was a little more bullish than I was on the whole thing because when he was an eighth grader, my dad came to a game and, you know, grade school football and, you know, five plays into the game, he just looks and he goes, Bob, that's a Big Ten tackle out there, an eighth grader. And I go, you know, I didn't, I, you know, I, I took with a grain of salt, I guess, but he was pretty, uh, pretty prescient in his uh, analysis, to be honest. And I, I guess there's, that would be the only disappointment of what's happened in the last year or so is him not being able to see that kind of thing go yeah. through. But you know, he's still he's up there watching. 